Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to become a private math tutor. Now, the three things that you need for this particular discussion are an education, experience, and of course, clients. And we're here to talk about a couple of strategies on how to get there. So here we go. Now, the prerequisite, as I like to call it, the first step in getting there is, to, of course, to get the highest degree possible. If you have a bachelor's degree, that would be great. Masters, even better. And of course, a PhD would be the highest degree that you can get in this field. Basically, the higher the degree, the more courses that you'll have under your belt. And of course, the more courses that you can tutor uh, when it comes to the various students. And, it'll, and the higher the degree, you could tutor not just undergrads, but also graduate students who might need an extra reinforcement or two. Once you have the education possible, get as much experience as possible. Math tutors are in high demand out there, whether it be at the school level, at the learning center level, even at the library level. So you can start as a volunteer to kind of get your feet wet and to discover what your strengths are in tutoring as well as what areas you might need to work on. But get as much experience under your belt and the more students that you know, the more clients you can build up for a network. And once you have that experience, get as many clients as possible. You can put up a sign, get business cards, which is always very professional, and depending on what kind of commitment you would like, you could either turn this into a, a part-time side job or, as some folks have done, turning it into a full-time profession where they're pro literally a professional math tutor. But these are the three basic steps, and I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you become a private math tutor.